Hello, I'm AppGamer76, and welcome to my Let's Play of Mass Effect. Uh, this is one of my favourite games, well, the series, full stop, love it. Uh, I'm going to be playing all three uh, straight through, hopefully, uh, get it done before uh, Andromeda comes out, but we'll see what happens. It might not happen that quick, because I start back at college, so... Uh, yeah, so let's let's make a start. I am using uh, a mod that improves the uh, textures. Uh, I'll put it down in the uh, description. Okay, so let's start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, so let's enter a new ID. Because we're going to do a custom shepherd. Please log in to access your profile. Uh, name. Oh, just use mine. Why not? Andrew, that's me. Andrew Shepherd. Great stuff. Warning, data corruption detected. Yeah, that's about right. Please reconstruct profile. Okay then, let's... Uh, Confirm pre-service history. Uh, pre-service history, okay. So we've got Spacer, Colonist or Earthborn. Uh, Spacer, both your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting. Never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Okay, colonists. Confirm oh. psychological profile. Confirm pre service history. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, colonists, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Uh, and Earthborn, you were an orphan, an orphan race on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and, and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Uh, I, I want something other than being born on Earth. Like, no. Uh, so, colonist or spacer, I like the idea of growing up on ships and stations. I think that's a good one. So we'll go Confirm with spacer. psychological profile. Uh, so we've got Soul Survivor, War Hero, or Ruthless. So Soul Survivor, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Well, that's not good. Uh, War Hero, er early in your military career, you are you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy, despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. And ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Yeah, I don't really fancy being a complete tit all the way through. I'm not going to go ruthless, no. So I'm going to go either War Hero or Soul Survivor, which are both. I, I, I'm going to go War Hero, I know. But. Yeah, Confirm okay, let's do military that. Military specialisation. So, we've got our specialisations, our classes, uh, Soldier, Engineer, Adept, Infiltrator, Sentinel or Vanguard. Uh, so, I, I'm not bothered about being a soldier. Uh, soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers get improved health, can train and use of all, all weapon types, start with the ability to use medium armour and can specialise in heavy armour. Yeah, I mean, I'm not... I'm not interested in uh, just shooting guns. I like to... Uh, use biotics 
and uh, tech abilities. I like the idea of that anyway, but not. I'm not bothered about being a soldier. Uh, engineer. Engineers are tech specialists using the holographic omni tool. They can decrypt sec security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Excuse me. Engineers can only use light armor and can only receive weapons training with pistols. Uh, adept. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through gradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only use light armor and can only receive, we uh, receive weapons training with pistols. Okay. Uh, infiltrator. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focus focusing on decryption and defensive abilities rather than healing. They can use pistols or sniper rifles and medium armor. Mm. Uh, Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only use light armour and receive no advanced weapon training. Well, I do like a bit of weapon training. I mean, like I said, I don't want to be a soldier. That's not all I want to do. But I do like the ability to have a choice of weapons that I can use. Have that. So, Vanguard. Vanguards. Ooh, try again. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are usually deadly at short range. They use pistols and shotguns and can specialise in medium armour. Ooh. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Vanguard. I like the idea of being able to use more than one type of weapon. Uh, I like the fact that can we, we can get to use medium armour and we have that biotic ability as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go Vanguard. Confirm facial identification. Okay, let's uh, change his appearance as well. Okay, let's cycle through a few of these presets and go from there, I think. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. No. No, no. I love that scar. <laughs> uh, no, no. No. Hey, let's go with Blondie, eh? Go with Blondie. Right, so let's have a look at the facial structure then and get this changed a bit. I think actually the facial structure I'm going to keep as it is because that's the kind of thing I want. So, let's change the skin tone a bit. Possibly, oh no, I don't fancy going paler. I think having that bit of suntan there, that tan, tan look, yeah, that'll do. Uh, complexion, I don't want him too old. Oh, I will we'll have him nice and young. Something I'm not these days. Uh, and the scar. Uh... Alright, let's have a look what we've got. I like the one on his chin. Or even on his lip. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh... That's a bit much. I do like that, but it's, I think it's too much. Oh, they are nasty. He's got to have a scar with some description anyway. Uh, so I'm thinking the ones on his lips or the chin. We'll go with just a little one on his chin. It's quite a gouge like, but that'll do. That's That'll do nice. Right, let's take a look at the head. So I'm going to keep neck thickness as it is, I think. If not, just lower it slightly. There we go. Uh, face size. I'll just give him a bit of extra padding a bit on his face there. Uh, cheek width. Yeah, well, widen those cheeks a bit. Why not? Uh, cheek bones. I suppose I could just reduce that slightly. Or do we want them a bit bigger? No, I'll just reduce them a bit. Uh, cheek gone. Mm. 
I think we go that way a bit. Do that. That seems fine. Ears, I'm not even going to mess with. They can stay as they are, I think. Or shall I just increase them a touch? There we go, that'll do. Uh, the eyes. Okay, eye shape. Uh, ah, none of them are brilliant, are they? God, let's be startled there. Yeah, I don't think we want that one. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, why not? Looks as if he's got a bit of the weight of the world on his... Uh... <clears throat> so eye height, they are quite high at the moment. Should we just lower them slightly? That's definitely a bit low. I will leave them there. Uh, I width. You know, I'm gonna put them full width apart. It looks quite, looks quite good there. Yeah. I uh, depth. Don't want them too sunken or stuck out. They're probably better off just about where they were actually. Look at me. No, me. As in, here. Thank you. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Ground depth. I'll increase that ground depth a bit. There we go. Again, okay, to look at me. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Yeah, that looks alright. Uh, brow height. We just lower that a touch just to make him look a bit sterner rather than startled. Yeah, we'll go about that. And I'm going to give him brown eyes of some description. I think we'll just go with that. I think that's fine. Uh, jaw. Uh, chin height. Yeah, we'll just give him a bit more, a bit more chin. Uh, chin depth. Don't like it sticking out too much. Let's bring that back. Uh, chin width. So wide. Let's just narrow it off a bit. There we go. And jaw width. Don't want anything too uh, drastic. I think we'll just go around there. That looks good. That looks good. Right, mouth. I'm going to keep his lips the same. Uh, I don't really want to change the mouth shape because they just don't. I mean, is that one? That could go. But I think I stay with that. Got to be happy with him because as soon as I'm going to be, we've got to be with him for a long time. So, uh, mouth. Depth. He seems to have a bit of a pout on him at the moment. Let's just bring that back a bit. Oh, that's better. Look at me. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave that where it was, pretty much. Uh, maybe increase the lip size slightly. And let's just lower the mouth out a bit. No. No, I think we go with that. I think that's okay. Looking all right here. Yeah. Uh, so his nose. Always have problems with the nose. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, nice nose. That's a bit on the large side, isn't it? That. A bit too thin. Uh, you know, it's like this one, or this one, I think. Uh, 
I'm thinking I'm going to go with that one, actually. Hmm. No, that one. Yeah, definitely that one. Uh, nose high. We can probably lower that a touch. There we go. Uh, and nose depth. How big do we want his, his nose? I think we'll drop it to around there. Yeah, it's not looking too bad there. Well, I think that's fine. And then, I think it's... Oh, come on, look at me. Look at me. Thank you. Uh, the hair. Right, I'm going to give him a bit of a beard. Or some description. Maybe some uh, stubble, anyway. at me. Yeah, we'll go with that. No, thank you. Look at me. Uh, I'm going to keep the eyebrows as they are. I think. Or you could go with some wispy ones, I suppose. I'm not having none. Let's see what they look like when I change the colour. Uh, what about his hair? No. no. I don't mind that. That looks alright. That looks a bit short for him. I don't like these. No, I think it's going to be that one. And hair colour. We're going to make that a brownie colour. Well, maybe go to there, actually. Look at me. Thank you. Uh, definitely don't want black. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think we go with that. Just change the hair colour slightly. And there we go. There he is. I think that's what it's going to be. So there is our Andrew Shepherd, ready and raring to go into action. Profile reconstruction complete. So we've got uh, our profile summary: name Andrew Shepherd, origin Spacer, reputation War Hero, and class Vanguard. Okay, so let's accept that. Identification confirmed. Right. I'm going to leave it on normal difficulty to start with. Uh, I'm playing it on mouse and keyboard, and I am not that good on mouse and keyboard. Uh, I have problems getting my left hand around the keyboard, so uh, once I get used to it, be fine, and I'll probably up the difficulty. So I'm just going to keep it at normal to start with. Uh, auto level up, squad only. Uh, I'm going to turn that off, and what I might do is get them to level up, them up themselves and then have a tinker around to it when they've done just to see so uh, target assist I'm going to go normal squad power usage I'm going to go active hopefully I can still control what they can do I'm not sure if not I'll just have to wear uh, going to defense only or whatever so uh, subtitles we will go on and that is us that is us on our way <laughs> 